Hello guys, it's your boy Loki. We're back with another Apex Legends video. And on this video, it's gonna be how to have no more recall. Okay, so this is gonna be titled as no recall anymore. So guys, if you guys wanna remove all the recall, this is just for control players, but oh, what the heck. So guys, if you wanna remove all the recall from your controller, this video is gonna be for you. I'm gonna try to give you all the benefits on how to remove the recall and give you all the things that you must do and switch on or off and also switch higher or lower. Alright, uh, before I go through the video guys, let's try to hit this video with 100 likes. Thank you a lot for the support by the way. I've seen you guys supporting all my videos. Actually, I really love you guys. Thank you a lot because you've been supportive all the time and I will appreciate it all the time. So thank you a lot for this. I'll try also to upload more videos for you to help you to get better in the community section. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit the notification bell. If you guys want to watch all my videos, I drop guide videos and give the videos. If you guys want to get benefit in Apex Legends and become better later, uh, this, this channel is made for you. So join the our Army, join the low K army and you can also just get in the discord uh, with us to see all the uploads do not miss them out anyway let's go through the video guys so step one with the first recall pattern we gotta try to remove anything that distract us okay so before we start with the settings and anything we have to remove everything that distract us so with the start with the step on we have to make sure the vibration is off now when you have vibration is on it's going to distract your muscle memory so your muscles are going to be distracted when you shoot you, your uh, control will vibrate and this is going to be a problem for people that need to control the recoil when you need to control the recoil you need to focus all on the analog so when there's a vibration you will not this is going to be distractful so you guys have to turn this off this is a step one i'm not going to go further information because there's a lot of steps you want to go so that's it just turn off vibration as a step one okay, we're gonna go step two also with the distraction thing is the fov now the less fov you have the more recall you will notice so for example if i put 84 uh, 84 FOV and I shoot uh, you will notice that the recall is going up because it's just closer uh, this is something psychological by the way so if you guys want also to get a uh, better feeling for recall and easier feeling for recall get your FOV higher so I recommend above uh, 104 and to 110 or, or 120 if you are on PC so these are the things I also recommend if you want uh, to get better with the recall pattern to get less distracted okay okay we're gonna go with step three also with the this we still on the first spot which is the distractions we trying to remove everything that is distractive so about this we need to make sure the master volume is very low not six percent of course like around 50 percent at least uh you, you have to put 50 percent master volume instead of 100 uh, this is this also depends on your uh, headphone what headphone you have but of course the less uh, volume you have the better recall pattern you will have as uh, psychologically speaking the less distractive you will get this is something also you must understand uh, and you can test it out you can go to the farming and put for example volume to zero percent and just shoot you will notice that the recall is a little bit easier this means and this is a proof that the less uh, volume you have of course the less recall you will feel uh, the better to control the recall i mean this is of course not gonna lower your recall this is just gonna make you less distractive so it's gonna make you focus on controlling the recall more so try to put a low uh, volume but don't put it low too much like five or six percent stupid you have to put it like at least 50 percent or some people put it like 40 or 45 percent which is good but putting this above like 100 percent uh, is gonna be a problem for most people now you can keep it 100 okay but it's still recommended to have a lower volume if you guys need to feel more comfortable with it okay, we finished with the distraction thing these are the three steps you have to do in the first part which is the distractive now we're gonna go to the actual part to remove the recall uh we're gonna go first of all with the settings and uh, the third part in the third part we're gonna speak about attachments now we're gonna keep right here in the settings okay so in the settings uh, first of all we're gonna talk about dead zone and response curve first of all we're gonna start with the dead zone you have to have lower dead zone to have less recall of course this is something most people know the less dead zone you have the less recall you will have now what is the recommended dead zone most people ask me of this if you are on alc the most recommended dead zone is the least the le i mean the highest you can go is four percent this is the highest you can go but anything above four percent for example five percent is gonna be a problem okay so do not put this above or do not this do not put this at five or above five this is gonna be a problem with the recall so four percent and less is on all the settings so for example if you play on seven you can keep this four you can keep the three you can keep this zero okay uh, but of course we don't really recommend to have a high response curve and dead zone when you have a high response curve you have to have no dead zone now we're not gonna jump into the details with this we're just gonna speak about the basics which is you have to have less dead zone so four percent three percent or zero percent 
and we're gonna go to the second part now we're gonna go to the second part which is response curve the less response curve you have the less recoil you will have this is definitely uh, something you must understand so for example if you play a top percent uh, response curve try to put this at least seven if you want to stay on classic because the less response curve the less recoil you have uh, seven is still gonna be classic and it's gonna still be same to ten but the problem the difference between ten and seven is basically ten has a lot of recoil it's very hard uh, as it says right here uh you don't need it to be too dull so it's gonna feel dull because it's a higher value so try to make it lower as much as possible as much as you can so if you want to start with the first thing if you are a classic player then start with the zero uh, start with 10 and try to drop one by one until you feel there's no recall and until you feel more comfortable if you are a linear player then put this on zero and try to go one by one and then see which one suits you if there's better than, the, than zero okay this is only what i can mention okay we're gonna go with the step three right here guys is also in the settings other than the dead zone response curve we gotta speak about the pitch speed okay sorry you guys if i'm speaking really fast because these parts are really too much so i want to mention them really fast we gotta speak about ads pitch speed we're not going to talk about the ads your speed your speed is, doesn't affect the recall what affects the recall is right here pitch speed so try to have a medium pitch speed by medium i mean 140 130 don't go anything below that so for example if you have 100 or 90 or 110 this is gonna make you also a cost of having high recall so 140 130 whatever you have right here in your speed at least this one should be 130 or 140 uh, but the more you can go also the more recall, the less recall you'll have of course definitely so the higher this will be the less recall you'll have but this also will be a cost at your accuracy and uh, all that so if you guys don't really have a problem then just get this higher as much as possible and abuse the recall and you'll have no recall okay so pitch speed is also the most important thing uh, to do for recall okay right here now guys we finished with the settings this is all we can talk about the settings now there's the last part of, of course i want to mention uh now this is going to be very important but of course by the way the crucial part was this one the pitch speed is the crucial part sorry for not mentioning it for men not mentioning it so the pitch speed right here this this here is the crucial part because uh, most people think I'm gonna mention the crucial part is response curve dead zone no that's not true the pitch speed is the most crucial part in this video uh, because the why is uh, pitch speed crucial part is basically because if you have low pitch speed you will not get used to the recall you will still have a bad recall even if you get used to it uh, you will have a bad recall so if you put like this for example and play with it you will have very very bad recall even if you get used to it you will still not be able to push the analog down because it's very slow now we're gonna go to the last part of the recall is out of threshold the more out of threshold you'll have the rest the less recall you'll have okay so try this of course uh, let's have fun okay let's have fun try this this is optional by the way so let's try to put this on maximum okay and try to aim and shoot you'll feel like oh my god where is my recall you don't have any recall at all you feel like you're playing on mouse and keyboard this is because the higher out of threshold the faster you reach the actual pitch speed okay so the higher out of threshold the faster you will reach the pitch speed that you have right here so for example if you have a low uh, outer threshold it's gonna take time to reach the 135 pitch speed you understand what i mean so the higher this is the less recoil you'll have and this depends on what you love so try to put it as much as you want so you can put it like two you keep it default you can play three four five six. i used to play six percent by the way uh, it was very stunning because i had like very wait what what the heck happened okay sorry what the heck okay i, I used to build like six percent and i really felt like very fast even faster uh, with movement and recall also so it, it does feel, it feel very fast but there's a cost of accuracy also a little bit so yeah you have to understand that we finished guys with the step two the part two i mean we're gonna go with the part three other than the settings right now we talked about the di uh, dis distractions we talked about the settings now we're gonna go talk about the attachments the attachments are control fix guys i recommend to have control fix for less recall this is not cheating by the way uh, having less uh, i mean having longer sticks means you have a fluid aim and more comfortable feeling so it's just making you more comfortable and the more comfortable you are uh, the better you are to hold the recall so this is just an important step to understand guys of how to increase uh, i mean how to decrease the recall now most of you guys will think that i'm gonna mention the recall pattern which is shooting the weapon and seeing how each weapon will uh, will be like for example how each uh, weapons pattern recall pattern will be but no this video is not going to talk about this because i'm speaking only about how to remove recall i'm not telling you guys how to get used to recall there's difference between the both okay so 
try to do these try if you understand what i mentioned right here in this video try to do them and let me know in the comments down below if guys this helped or you had lower recall so i hope you guys enjoyed the video guys and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see you guys in the next one so see you later guys peace out